Berlin's University of the Arts. A group of young musicians is giving a concert with a difference. An evocative melody for the cello, violin, double bass, viola, and oboe, performed on eight small telephones. This is the Diggy Ensemble, an orchestra of smartphones and tablet computers. We're experimenting with how you can make music with this iPod Touch, these new devices. And we've worked on refining it, so now you can make music that you can more or less take seriously. Matthias Krebs is a music lecturer. He's a trained opera singer and a pioneer in the field of digital music. His course on using digital technology for musicians turned into a jam session with music apps. That's programs for smartphones and tablets. And thus, the Diggy Ensemble was born. Even a digital orchestra needs to rehearse regularly, but otherwise there's not much preparation. The instruments are selected with just a few clicks. By tapping the machines, the musicians can change the volume. A gentle shake gives a vibrato effect. I just find it exciting how suddenly you can make music with everyday devices. Everyone's now got a potential instrument in their pocket. People just have to say, hey, let's make music. And you just take your instrument out of your pocket and say, okay, today I'm playing the drums. Or electronic guitar, perhaps. The Diggy Ensemble does rock, too. This is Starlight by the British band Muse. There's about 10,000 apps to make music with. They're easy to use, even for those who aren't musically gifted. I think they've got huge potential. There are always new possibilities, even for people who can't read sheet music or just like to play with sounds and melodies. Of course, there's a limit to it. You can never make an app sound as expressive as a real guitar. Krebs has around 500 music apps on his iPad. But using this as a starting point and then getting hold of a real guitar and practicing until you've got the hang of it and being able to really go beyond that, I think that's where these devices can be really useful. Back to the performance. The ensemble is about to present its new project. This time it's not about imitating real instruments. They're trying to develop a whole new digital sound. This time we're giving the audience something like a sound installation, something that sounds a bit more crazy. And now we'll see whether people like it. It's the world premiere of Flexi On, an iPod and iPad duet with vocal accompaniment. I think it's great. It opens up a whole new world to me. It's great for film music and things like that. I think definitely it's going to be part of the music scene. Of course, the music apps will never replace real instruments, but they can get people interested. And they give us an idea of what the music of the future might sound like.